Good afternoon and welcome to the virtual open day for art and design, fashion and textiles and graphics design. I'm Ros Walecki and I'm the course team leader at Uxbridge College. So to start with, I wanted to give you a brief overview of today's presentation. Usually we would get you to come in and meet the team, um, have a tour around our facilities, speak to our students and find out more about our courses. Today, however, hopefully I will be able to um, give you as much information as possible in this slideshow and there will be an opportunity to ask questions at the end. So to start with, our fantastic facilities at Uxbridge College. Um, in Art and Design, we are very fortunate to have recently moved into a specialist purpose-built facility in September with studios, workshops and classrooms. We have a range of industry standard specialist equipment, including a 3D workshop with 3D printer and laser cutter, a dark room for photography and a Mac suite for graphics, a ceramics workshop with kiln and pottery wheels, print room for etching and screen printing, as well as a fashion studio with industrial sewing machines and pattern cutting facilities. So here you can see um, part of our ceramics workshop. This is our uh, 3D workshop um, equipped with the laser cutter, band saws, workbenches, uh, pillar drill, sanding machines, 3D printer. This is our printmaking facilities with screen uh, printing exposure unit and screen printing beds. We've also got the kiln in ceramics, fashion studio with our students working hard, and our specialist industrial sewing machines in fashion. We also have an open space. This is open access for our students, so you're able to work independently in this space. It also gets used for um, workshops, uh, drawing uh -huh. sessions, as well as um, it forms part of our end of year exhibition space. So moving on to the creative arts team. On the left, we have Sue Tarrant. She's the head of school for creative arts and health and social care. In the middle, we have David Stora, the section manager for creative arts. And on the right is myself, Ros Walecki, course team leader for art and design, graphics and fashion and textiles. Our lecturing team, we have Seth, Seth Maximum, level one art design and media tutor, who has a vast experience of industry and teaching level one, um, background in drawing, uh, printmaking and animation. We then have Jill Tattersall on her pottery wheel in the middle, um, level two uh, course leader and has um, lots of experience working in industry as well as in education. Clara Clark, level three art and design with a background in photography. Uh, Mike Taylor, who is an industry professional working um, currently in industry as a graphics designer and also teaches on our level three graphics course. And then Kieran Khan, who is a fashion designer and also is tutor on the level three fashion and textiles courses. We also have a fantastic technical support team. Um, we've got Sarah Deaton, our 3D specialist art technician with a background in props and model making, as well as Marie Emerson, our fashion and textiles technician, who also works in industry um, designing wedding dresses and various other fashion garments. So moving on to the courses that we have to offer at the college. Um, all of our courses in art and design are awarded by UAL, so University of the Arts London. Um, UAL is a fantastic um, awarding body for creative subjects. It's at the forefront of um, FE education and its aim is to support young people who want to progress through creative education and into creative industries. Um, we were one of the first colleges in London to switch from the BTEC to the UAL and it is the preferred qualification for universities and employers. Um, assessment is usually mainly portfolio based. Uh, learners develop a range of skills working towards their final major project, FMP, and the FMP counts towards the final grade. At level three, there is also an externally set and assessed project during your first year as the diploma student. OK, so the courses we have, we've got a level one diploma in art and design and media. We offer a level two in art and design a level three diploma and extended diploma in art and design, which is a two year course and is equivalent to your three A levels. 
We also offer the level three in a fashion and textile specialism and a graphics design specialism. Okay, so moving on. So level one art and design. So this is really to take your first steps into the world of creativity and art. Um, there's no entry requirements for this course, um, but you should have a keen interest in art or design and media. And progression from this course is usually on to level two in art and design, media or games design. So lots of our students start with us in level one and they progress on to level two. Um, with some also progressing on to level three and on to university. So the level one course is really about starting your journey as a creative individual and learning those very basic skills. The level two art and design course, we're looking for four GCSEs at grade three, ideally including your maths and English and an art related subject. And you will need to bring a portfolio during interview. Um, progression is on to the level three art and design, media or games design um, departments at the college or elsewhere. Uh, level three art and design, we have an uh, entry requirement of five GCSEs at grade nine to four, including English and maths, or a relevant level two qualification at a merit or above. You also need to show a varied portfolio of creative work and attend an interview. Uh, so the things that we're looking for in le at level three in your portfolio is very much uh, drawing from observation, so from real life, um, any artist research, any interesting projects that you've done at school or in your own time, and really just seeing that passion for wanting to study art and design at a higher level with the intention of going on to university or into employment. Um, so progression from the level three courses um, can be for your first year into your second year and then on to university apprenticeships or industry. And here is a video from some of our art and design students so you get a student's perspective. And one of the most things I enjoy about the course is that it's got um, so many different things that you can try and it's all about having a go and not making and not like being afraid of making any mistakes. Creating new pieces of art and exploring new techniques, you know, using the darkroom and producing film, photography and painting and printing. The computers are programs like Illustrators, um, Adobe, Photoshop. There's so much actually that I enjoy about art and design level 3. And all the resources and facilities are high quality to ensure that our work is at the best quality that it can be. And I've learned so many different skills that I thought I wouldn't have and I wouldn't have got them without the support from the teachers and um, they're fantastic. We all enjoy it a lot. Okay, so moving on to level three graphics. Again, we're looking for five GCSEs at a grade nine to four profile, preferably including English and maths or the level two equivalent at merit or above. Um, you will need to show a portfolio for um, interview with graphics. Again, we're looking for creativity, drawings, um, researching, annotations, outcomes, um, showing who you are as a creative individual. Uh, progression from this course, so from your year one in the diploma, you can progress on to the um, extended diploma second year and then on to higher education courses, apprenticeships or industry. And next is a video from one of our graphic students. I've been a student at this college for two years now and throughout the last two years I've learned a lot of very valuable skills that will help me throughout the rest of my career life. I've learned how to use different Adobe softwares like Illustrator, Photoshop and InDesign and I've used them to create different posters, I've made logos, greeting cards, motion sequences, um, magazine layouts, all of them would go together to make a very good portfolio at the end of two years that will help me throughout my uni applications. Um, I think coming to college is a very enjoyable experience. I get along very well with my class and I think my teachers are very approachable and helpful um, with problems regarding schoolwork or outside of it. Um, overall, I think coming to college is a very happy experience and I really recommend it to everyone. Okay, and finally, the last course we offer in art and design is our level three fashion and textiles course. 
Again, very similar entry requirements to art and design and graphics. And the fashion and textiles course is really for um, individuals who are really keen to develop their um, textile skill base, as well as um, fashion designing, fashion illustration, garment construction, and um, looking at people that want to really go into um, fashion at university or textiles at university or related courses, um, apprenticeships or into industry. And finally, here is some um, feedback from our fashion students currently studying with us. I'm a student at Oxbridge College studying fashion design. It is one of the top colleges in West London. Here you can find highly qualified staff who have industry experience and help us to develop our skills. We do a lot of designing pattern cutting and illustrations that help us gain our skills to go to university. As you can see, it helps to push boundaries by design and also for the equipped with industry professional equipment. We have a lot of facilities such as amazing equipment and teachers that will help you with anything you need. If you need extra help or you're struggling with something, they're always there to help. So I decided that my future can be started here and I can progress further into university. And I think uh, it's really helped me gain my skills and I think it will really help me in university as well. Which leads me on to our student body. So our students at the college are at the forefront of everything that we do. And here our art and design, graphics and fashion students are preparing for their end of year exhibition. So every year in the creative arts department, we have an exhibition where students get to showcase the fantastic work that they've produced and the skills that they've learned um, throughout their course and their time with us. Um, it's a lovely occasion where we get the students to invite their friends and family in and they get to show off all of the fantastic work that they've put together. So in the academic year 18-19, we had 122 students across our five courses and approximately 80% of our learners on level one and two courses progressed onto a higher level. So that's a 70% of this is internal progression. So they start with us on level one or two and they move up to level two or three. We have a strong emphasis on relatable work skills and employability. So this includes soft skills and we're very, very um, keen to encourage our students to maintain good attendance and punctuality and to arrive prepared for lessons. 90% um, successful subject relatable work experience across our department. So all of our students uh, go out for one week of work experience um, each year where they develop their transferable skills and get an insight into what it's like in working in the industry. Um, on our level three extended diploma, so the equivalent to three A levels, 92% um, of our learners progress directly onto university, 71% of graphics learners progress to university, and 90% of our fashion learners did. We also have good English and maths resits. So if you didn't quite get the grade four at GCSE um, as part of your study program, you are able to resit your maths and English. And we have fantastic links with the creative industry and professional opportunities within your study programme at Uxbridge College. Um, for example, we've had Mark Norton, the creative director of Think, Think Farm, a branding agency, come in and give um, visiting lectures. We've had Joe Taylor from advocate, advertising company JWT. And we've also have lots of our return, returning alumni students um, come in to give um, talks and prepare our learners for industry and, and, and employment, giving them some advice and guidance. Destinations include um, for university, so lots of our learners go to Arts University Bournemouth, we've got Bath Spa, Chelsea College of Art, uh, London College of Art, Loughborough University, um, UCA, Kingston Uni, Falmouth Uni, University of Westminster and De Montford University. So lots of our students who start with us and um, progress through and then um, have some really fantastic destinations at the end of their time with us at Uxbridge College. Um, as I mentioned earlier, work experience. So all our students go out for one week of work experience each year. And this really helps learners find um, industry 
um, relatable job prospects and to also develop transferable skills. Um, placements uh, this year, so in 2020, included Pinewood, um, DSI London, uh, River Island Design Department with Sky. We had Think Farm, um, Green Tea Architects, Tattoo Studio West, um, Channel 4 and We Launch. And here are some examples of our work experience. So this was a level three project with Rocket Software um, where learners had to create a mural painting um, in line with the client's brief. Um, so this is some examples of our students out on their work experience with the mural they designed and created behind them. And you can see they've been having a, a fantastic time and it's a great fun um, outside of working in college. Um, we've also had lots of student success and industry experience. So the Lancaster Hotel commis commissioned us in 2016 um, to put on an exhibition. So you can see some of the artwork that was on display and the private view um, where learners got to engage with an audience and with their, their client. We've had um, a Viva commission in 2017 in the Bauman offices in Uxbridge. So this is the student cohort um, putting on their exhibition in this space, and working with Aviva. And again, in 2017, we had Capture at the old vinyl factory in Hayes. So each year, our extended diploma students put on um, a Capture exhibition where they have to engage with their local audience and respond to a client's brief. And there's some examples there and the mayor attended in 2017 and some examples of our student work. In 2018, we had Capture again in the, um, West London in Hayes. Um, so you can see students, their work, they're working in a range of specialisms from sculpture to photography to graphics, um, 3D, textiles, so lots of different work gets produced. Um, in 2019, it was in the Pavilion Shopping Mall in Uxbridge Town Centre, and our students got to put on work where they were looking at Hillingdon and the surrounding area. And these are some examples of some of the student work. And then this year, um, we had Capture 2020 in the Into Shopping Centre, um, where learners were engaging with their audience. And um, we had various interactive pieces, printmaking, architectural sculptures, and um, set mo models. And then also part of our student experience, we tried to go out on as many off-site trips as possible. And although we've been limited recently with um, restrictions due to COVID, um, we try to take our students out as much as possible and we hope this will um, return in the new year. Um, so you can see this is a great opportunity for students to get out of the classroom and really experience what it's like to go and physically see artwork and experience what it's like to go to a gallery, how work is displayed, what it feels like to actually experience it in um, real life. It's also a great day out that we have um, with staff and students. And this is your Create Your Futures event. So each year we go to UCAS at the Excel. Um, this October, it was hosted online virtually, um, but this is a good opportunity for learners to really see their progression options, um, speak to universities from all around the UK um, and, and to actually work out what they want to do next and to ask lots of questions and to research. So they're getting as much information as possible um, to make their choices and their next steps. So that was last year when we went to the Excel and all the students there with all their freebies they get from the exhibition. Um, we've also started to work quite closely with Falmouth University. Um, so we go to do residential trips down in Falmouth by the seaside and we are aiming to encourage our students to look further afield than just in London to study in higher or further education and lots of our students this is a great opportunity to see what university life is really like so they get the full student experience they do workshops with the lecturers they get to do visits we also go to the beach um, so there's lots of opportunities to find out you know what you want to do next after the course and staff are here to support you with that um, and again, 
just our final year. So this was 2019, end of year exhibition. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we weren't able to have our showcase in our usual way in 2020. Um, but hopefully next year we'll be able to have our exhibition again. And this was Kenneth Goes to the Art Show in 2019. Um, and we also had a fashion show where students get to um, showcase their collections in a live fashion show with our runway models um, to celebrate all of the, the wonderful garments that they make throughout the year. OK, and that's it from me. So if you have any questions, um, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Hopefully that's given you a bit of information about what we offer in the art and design department at Uxbridge College. Right, so um, let us see if we have any questions. If you have any questions, you can uh, put it in the chat box now. Um, just whilst people are typing, I just wanted to say, um, Hopefully that, that presentation uh, gave you lots of information. If you do have any questions, let us know. Um, but we've also got some taster days coming up at the end of June, um, where you can book on and actually come into college and experience what it's like to take part in a lesson and get the atmosphere and, and a feeling of what it, the sense of being at Uxbridge. So um, please keep an eye out for those. Joyti, I don't know if it's, um, if there will be on information on the yes, website. Yes, they can be, yeah, it may be on the website, but if you have registered with us, then we do send out taste today information to all our registrants. So the, like I said, the link is on the chat box. So if you can fill in the form, then we you will be on our list so we can send you the details for the taste today. Brilliant, yeah, um, and I would definitely recommend joining one of those, if you're, especially if you're a bit unsure about the level or um, maybe you've got a couple of choices of where you're thinking of going after school or whatever you're doing currently, um, book onto those taste days and it's a nice opportunity to see the facilities and meet the team. Um, and there'll be lots of other students who are currently studying here, so you can talk to them as well. Yeah, that'll, that'll be a good opportunity. Um, I think there are no questions coming in through to the chat. Um, so I would just say that there's a, a link to also our welcome session by our principal. So if you would like to see that, you can click on that link in the chat box. Um, if you're ready to apply for the course, the easiest way to do that is by um, applying online. And uh, you can just visit our art and design page, find your course and click on the apply now button. Um, other than that, I just have to say thank you all for attending. And uh, goodbye from us. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Hopefully we'll see you all soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye.